Hey, how's it going guys? Daniel from ModBot here. I know I said in the next video we'd be finishing up the Annette A8 build with the electrical, but I had sort of a lazy couple of days and didn't get around to actually recording that part, and I had been working on a little bit more stuff for the Monoprice Mini, basically. In the last video, I kind of showed you guys a jumbled mess. Well, since then, I went ahead and got the machine all back together and hooked up to OctoPrint again, and it's printing beautifully. Um, I just kind of wanted to let you all know that I, instead of linking you guys over to the uh, Instructables file, I actually posted a page on my website, which I'll link you guys in the description, that also has all of the different uh, Marlin uh, edits and variables that are going to need to be edited to use the ramps and Arduino board with the Monoprice Mini. Um, that way, just in case anything happens to the Instructables, I at least have them hosted on my website, and I did also include a little bit more details. Um, I'm also going to be including the STL file for this custom like side vent panel that I designed. Um, since the ramps board and the Arduino was going to be underneath the machine, um, that I had no way to get the USB cable to the actual board. So what I did was I created a custom side uh, vent that basically screws into place with the existing ones and you can feed the USB cable through. So I fed the cable through and um, plugged it in to the Raspberry Pi on the back of the machine. Also, I was having some issues with the hotbed not heating up. I talked about that in the last video, which is initially why I was uh, troubleshooting the machine and which is why I ended up dropping it on its face. Well, I seem to have fixed it. Basically, all I ended up doing was I desoldered the wires that were soldered to the bed and I resoldered them with a little bit better wire and then connected that to the ramps board and now it's heating up every single time so um i know i've seen this before uh, at least quite a few times in different posts but there's kind of the cable the way it's hooked up it rubs back and forth and it's not exactly the best cable so sometimes there's issues with the heat bed cable and again i was able to fix that just by replacing so if your heat bed randomly stops heating up or just kind of heats up when it wants to uh, potentially replace those cables to the heat bed because that's what fixed it for me. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything has been printing really, really well. I'm very happy that the machine is back, closed up. Um, I originally tried mounting the ramps board to the bottom of the um, Monoprice Mini basically by drilling a couple holes up so that way I can mount it to the ramps board and that didn't really work too well. I got one of the screws in very well and the second one didn't line up perfectly and it's kind of like a sheet metal so it's not exactly the easiest to drill through. Um, so I ended up actually just using two zip ties um, to secure it in place which is a little bit I guess on the not so clean side but since it's under the machine it doesn't have any effect on the visuals. You can't tell, you can't see it um, and it's, it's secure. It's not going anywhere. I mean I, I have one or two machines that you zip tie the electronics that's part of the instruction so it's not that uncommon of a thing to do again i wanted to make it a little bit nicer but in the end it's printing literally right now as i'm recording this and i'm very happy with the end result so if any of you have any more questions or are interested in doing this conversion for whatever reasoning links will be in the description to both the again stl file as well as my webpage that will have the various um, marlin edits that you'll have to make to the configuration h file so on that note, hope you guys are all been doing fantastic. Don't forget to smack the like button, and I pinky promise to you all that the electronics on the Annette build is going to be coming in the next video. No questions asked. I will not make a video until that is the next video. Anyways, guys, on that note, once again, this has been Dana from ModBot. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you all in my next video, and I am out. Peace, guys.